Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, I have mentioned the Tinkercad subreddit before. I love the questions here. This one was a trapezoid with crazy large measurements 332, 220, 210 for the height, and 5 millimeters thick. I'll show you why it doesn't work, and I'll show you a way to solve it. All right, so if you don't name things, I'm going to show you how to do that just so you got it. So I'm going to call this trapezoid, and I'm going to put the word trick or genius, whatever you want to call it. I will spell trapezoid correctly. Now, of course, we can search for a trapezoid. If you type trap, there are several to pick from. This one has the double trapezoid. There's also one called an awkward trapezoid. We just want the plain trapezoid. I'm going to drop it down like that. For this project, since it was five millimeters thick, I'm going to turn it that way and hit D to drop. So when you click on this, remember those measurements. If we try and type 332, it only goes to 140. That doesn't work. So I'm going to do Control Z to make that go back. And then I'm also going to tell you don't ever stretch these handles because it breaks the parameters. So here's the trick. Instead of 332, 220, 210, and 5, we're going to do 33.2, 22, 21, and 0.5. We're just moving one decimal place to the left. So here we go. 33.2, press enter. 22, which used to be 220, 21, and press enter. And 0 0.5, press enter. I'm going to hit D to drop so it lands on the desktop. I'll pull this back to the edge so we've got a little bit more room and then friends watch this. Instead of 21, I want 210 so I'm going to hold down shift, stretch it way out there and in the box I'm going to type the 210. That automatically scales it all 10 times as much. Check it out, this distance is now 332. Here's our 210. We can't really see this one but I'll show you away in a minute but that is 220 and then of course there's your thickness of five. If you want to see a double check on this, it's hard to get a ruler to one of these points. If I cancel this out and bring out the ruler, you can see we can get close, but that still shows the entire distance. But if we bring out a rectangle and put it at that same spot, so I'm gonna change this number to zero, and then I want to take this one and make it 220. It snaps across, and we can use that as a pseudo ruler to prove that it goes to the right spot. Real quickly, you can see here this is negative 18. Let's instead make it negative 20 so it's all the way out at the edge. Then when we spin back around, hope I didn't make you dizzy, you can see the 220 that we expected. Doubt your teacher would count that as a geometry proof, but I think that proves what we wanted to prove for this project. Real quickly, friends, before I talk to you about my website, don't forget the Tinkercad Shape Generator PDF. This has all the shapes you can use. Of course, you can use all of these names to help yourself as you're searching for cool shapes in Tinkercad. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Down below, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Below that, friends, you'll also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. If you look at the very top, you'll also find the link to the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.